Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael. It is Tuesday. I'm lying. I don't know my days of the week anymore. I'm lost. It is Wednesday. It is hump day. And today we are going to be doing chest and legs. And today I'm starting out with chest because I, I, I knew I was going to really beat myself up on the chest. So I really wanted to go ahead and get it done first. And, uh, then uh, we'll do legs later as you can see here we're just warming up with 95 pounds bar 45 and we got 25s on each end there guys <clears throat> um, it is important I feel to show your warm-up sets uh, it kind of sets the foundation for uh, everything and shows people that you don't just jump in there and just start lifting heavy weights uh, you know I think a lot of people uh, have crazy ideas that you can go start working out and just lay down and start benching big weights. And uh, no, not only do you got to work your way up in strength and endurance and size and all that good stuff, but even once you get there, you still need to warm up. So again, uh, we're going to do another set, which I don't always do this, but I felt like I needed to today. Uh, and this is week number two of this new routine that I'm doing, and so far I like it. <coughs> So we're doing a nice little uh, second warm-up set here, 95 pounds of course, and uh, we'll get another 10 reps. <clears throat> and, uh, then we'll jump up to 135 and uh, get a few reps here. And uh, Anyway, I've had a pretty good day today, I just got done eating, I had steak and green beans and a big salad and a baked potato. Uh, of course I cook at home, so that's what I had at home. It's good. And if I remember, I'll put an image in here for you to see. <clears throat> pretty good stuff. Cooked up pretty good. Had a good flavor. Uh, not the highest quality meat in the world, but a lot of times if you just know how to cook and handle things correctly, you know, on your iron skillet or your grill or however you want to cook, you know, you can uh, make bad meat taste pretty good. And uh, it was tender. It was good. So now we're up to uh, 225, and uh, of course I'm not trying to go crazy with reps because, you know, whenever you're working out like this, you don't know really where you're going sometimes, and that's kind of how I go. So I don't want to wear myself out because I don't know if I'm going to try and go up to you know, 350 pounds or if I'm just going to go to 300 pounds or 225. I don't know, so I don't want to wear myself out. Uh, you just, you kind of want to... Uh, stay in a comfort zone until you figure things out. So we got 225 there, and now we're up to oh, 275. We got 25, uh, 245s, and the bar is 45. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. Uh, my shoulder wasn't hurting too bad uh, today for this. And, uh, felt pretty good. So. Uh, obviously, it's feeling okay because we're jumping up to 315 here, guys. So I'm feeling pretty good. Of course, it's heavy. 315 is always heavy. That's a heck of a weight. Once you jump up in the threes, you're, you're getting up in the, into the big weights. So right here, we put 10s on the end. So that means we're at 335, guys. 10s, 345s, and the bar is 45. push out three reps here which I was really surprised that I did uh, considering kind of how I'm coming into this week after my procedure I had done and you can go check out the videos on that I don't want to have to keep repeating all that but, uh, and on this here I stuck tens on there again we were up to 355 and uh, I felt strong and I thought you know what let's throw two and a halfs on the end you can see them on the end there the little teeny tiny weights so now we're up to 360 and that's nothing amazing for me. I have done quite a bit more. But, uh, again, considering the week and how I was coming into this week, uh, I wasn't sure. And, you know, so I felt really good about that. And look right here. We go to, uh, I dropped down to 300 pounds. It's 245, a 35, and a 2.5. And the bar is 45. I don't know if I mentioned it all. But anyway, bar 245s, 35, and 2.5. So uh, right here, uh, we're going to get eight reps. 
and I was really, really happy with that. That's up there with my PR. I have actually got 10 reps with this many years back, but I've also, but I've only done that like one time, I think, and I've gotten eight reps for a few times now, and uh, this is one of them. I was really happy with that, you know, again, considering the week that I, you know, how my week started and everything, so really, really happy with that. And then we jump on down to the 225, and uh, we pump out 10 of these bad boys. That's kind of how we do it. Um, you don't always have to go super crazy on your reps, so I stuck at 10 reps. Nice control, decent form there. I always try to do decent form uh, with... Uh, certain lifts. Well, I try to do decent form with all my lifts, but some of my lifts I do really good at. And, uh, I think bench pressing and dumbbell pressing and my deadlifts and that stuff, you know, I think those are some of my cleaner, better, most amazing looking looks, uh, forms. So right here, guys, we are doing something that's called a Larson press. And uh, a guy that I'm subscribed to on YouTube um, Trey Ingles, he does these a lot, and he's uh, really good at them. And uh, they really test your balance. That's my first time. Uh, so go check out his channel, by the way, Trey Ingles. I'll put a, a link in there in the description if you know how to click on descriptions and all that. And right here, I thought, you know what? I want to handle those hundreds. I want to do my hundred-pound dumbbells. I like to do those whenever I can. Uh, keep the feel and and. Uh, the skill, you know, it's a different skill and a different feeling all together. So uh, got the 100-pound dumbbells here. Uh, I wanted to finish up my chest and do a, just one set of these with the hundreds. I think we're going to do 12 reps. And, uh, yeah, it felt good. Yeah, there we go. Pop up there. So here we are, guys. We're on to the legs. We're not going to do anything extraordinary here, uh, except for the fact that I guess it's extraordinary that I'm working out. I think it's pretty amazing. I could be doing other things, like nothing, I guess. So, anyway. Uh, so, from the side here, I like to kind of get an idea of my depth. I don't really put too much importance on my depth, like a lot of people, but... Uh, I have worked on it over the past several, several months, and uh, I'm trying to get better, and I know it's not perfect there, but, uh, of course, this is my first set, so it takes a little while for me to get kind of warmed up and used to moving. Uh, that is 135, and, uh, I think I only get eight reps. I don't know why I stopped at eight, sometimes we do weird reps for whatever weird reason, and, uh, Michael Hearn, I watched one of his videos one time, and regardless of what you think of the man, he's amazing. So I was watching one of his videos one time, and uh, not too long ago, and he was talking about, everybody's so worried about what you look like from the side, and they don't concentrate, they don't think about what they look like from the front when they squat. And that's more important, he said. Because <clears throat> a lot of times your knees will buckle in or buckle out and do kind of weird things, and you need to keep control of your legs and your knees, and... Uh, get that under control and uh, he feels like that's even more important or just as important but I, the way I took it was more important than worrying about going parallel or uh, ATG uh, you know what ATG is I don't like to say it so anyway so right here looks like we're doing 135 again I think I just did five reps I think it's 135 yeah now we're at 225 I wanted to show of course from the side you can't really see too well those of us with trained eyes, we can tell that's two plates, but then you got some people that pop in and watch your videos in there. Ah, uh, mister, that's not two plates. I just see one. Come on now. You know you're fooling us. Come on, buddy. Come on. You know you're out there. You know you're watching. You're probably going to comment on it, too. So, <clears throat> I don't do anything crazy as far as reps. Um, I just, I kind of want to focus on just getting uh, decent reps of what I can within reason. So I think I do four reps here. And as you can tell, I'm doing better form here, better depth even, you know, than I did in the very beginning with the 135. But again, I'm not perfect and I'll never be and I don't strive to be perfect. I just want to make myself happy and that's what I do. So, 
Here we are with 225 again. And uh, we're going to get four whole reps again, guys. Four whole reps. Now, I know that's not a lot of reps, but it's good enough. I'm never going to have them Tom Platt's legs. I'm well past my prime, and I'm uh, not using anything to enhance my body like those people out there. I'm a little past that, a little past my prime, so I'm happy to do what I do. So uh, right here, we're going to do a set of 315. Nothing spectacular, but uh, I am glad I went ahead and went up this heavy. It makes me feel good uh, to know I did that. And also, you know, uh, putting that with my chest workout that I did, I feel really good about my workout today. So I think I'm just going to do one rep here. And, uh, hopefully it looks decent. I haven't even watched yet. So we'll see how it looks. Eh, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. I'm not in competition, guys. I'm at home. I'm doing this for myself. So, whatever you do, just do it. Don't worry about being quote unquote perfect. And don't worry about the masses and what they say. Just do what you can. Just uh, know your body and do the best you can and be safe. That's the best advice. And uh, make yourself happy. So, guys, this right here is going to be the last set. Uh, we do have 315 on there again. Let's see if I do a little better on this one. Maybe. Come on, Mike. You can do it, man. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I thought I practically sat on the ground. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. I hope I inspire you a little bit to do something, whether it's working out or anything at all, guys. You know, something positive. Be healthy inside and out. And don't forget, get up, get out, get ready. Do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the body beat down. Stick around and you'll see my routine. There it is. Pretty good, huh? Not too bad. I'm really happy. Everybody have a good week. Get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it.